Jeff, we the world clearly has been in the, the midst of what's described as the major recession since the Great Depression, uh, but there's now some talking about things like green shoots and so on, and maybe we're coming out of the worst of it. What's your sense of where we are now and what the outlook might be for the next two or three years for the global economy? I'm sceptical about the green shoots. I think the macro imbalances in the world economy are still there. I think the toxic assets haven't been worked off. I don't think uh, we can be yet sure that we're not just seeing a repeat of the 1930s, uh, which means that I'm pessimistic about the outlook for the next couple of years. Uh, further on out, we don't know where we're going. Right. You talked about a radical restructuring of the world economy in your, uh, in your address, and uh, could you elaborate a little bit more on what that means and what some of the implications of that might mean? It means the balance in global capitalism has moved towards new economies, China, India, some Latin American economies. The world economy and world markets have not made the structural adjustments needed to absorb those rapidly growing new economies. And the result is a whole series of imbalances and stresses which have to work their way out. Uh, and that requires a lot of enlightened policy making, uh, but also keeping your fingers crossed, I think, that uh, markets can handle the stresses that are, that are coming through. Yeah, Jeff, we've seen massive borrowing by the Western economies, trillions and trillions of dollars ostensibly to stimulate it. Is this helpful? Will it make it worse? Or is it still in the category of really not sure of the implications of what's been happening? Well, it's given us two very good decades of high consumption and rapid growth and uh, a lot of comforts of uh, modern life. That's all been good and enjoyable. It's left a residue um, of debt um, and a poor outlook for the growth of consumption in the near future and uh, too much dependence now on short-term inventory investment and government stimulus, which is not going to be sustainable for, for very long. We don't know what is going to take up the slack in the world economy once governments back away. You also talked about the implications of some of these changes and the recession and generally tightening economies for individuals mm. um, and perhaps their attitudes towards others and so on. Could you elaborate a little bit on what you had in mind around this aspect? Yeah, well, what I had in mind is that there are three separate crises running and they're to some extent independent of each other. There's the financial crisis up above and the superstructure. There are global imbalances in the productive economy and the trading economy at, uh, at the level of the productive base of the world economy and at the level of the household and the individual um, there has been a very low saving, high consumption culture at the individual level across the Western world, particularly the Anglo-Saxon countries, a high saving culture in Asia. Uh, now the question of adjusting individual preferences and individual behaviour is coming upon us and households are going to have to reorganise their balance sheets. We don't yet know what that will look like, but my concern is that it will lead to a a lessening of generosity, a closing in uh, on ourselves and Western cultures, and that may be bad news for the politics of the welfare state.